Hello, everybody. I'm Kristen Stanton, and I'm one of the career consultants for Dietrich College here in the Career and Professional Development Center. Hi, I'm Rachel Rosenfeld, and I am one of the Mellon College of Science career consultants. Welcome. Today, we're going to introduce you to the CM Universe platform, and we'll also review some best practices for connecting with alumni mentors. So after listening to this session, we're hoping that you understand how to navigate the CM Universe platform, including creating an account, connecting with alumni, and joining groups. And you'll also gain a better understanding of best practices for developing relationships with alumni mentors. So what is CM Universe? It is our new mentoring platform that professionally connects students to alumni. And I do wanna place some emphasis on that word professional. This is a network that's meant to be used for career purposes, for career exploration and development. It is not a social network, so it's really not for you to be making friends with alumni, but it's for you to connect about professional topics. So yes, you can network and get advice from our alumni and from other students in different fields. And this network is a little bit different from LinkedIn. Um, it's a question that we get asked a lot, but on LinkedIn, um, as some of you may know, you have to first reach out and ask someone to connect with you. And then if they accept your connection request, you can then start messaging them. Messaging them. Um, on CM Universe, however, you can consider all of the alumni in this platform to be connections who you're free to message at any time. So consider the alumni in the CM Universe warm leads. They are really here to help you. And in fact, they really want to help you. They, they are making a positive impact by connecting and mentoring um, students, and they remember what it was like to be in your shoes. So they really are intentionally here to provide that assistance to you. So before we dive into the platform, um, let's just do a refresher about networking. What are some of the reasons why you might wanna network with alumni? Um, one reason is for career exploration. So some of you already know what you wanna do, but many of you don't. And so it's great to have access to a network of alumni, not just from your home college, but across all colleges under the Carnegie Mellon University umbrella. You can also learn about specific fields of interest. So you can search alumni by industry, by company, which Rachel will show you how to do, and you can really gain personalized professional development advice related to specific jobs or specific industries. And then lastly um, is the hidden job market. So if you don't know what this is, um, it's those opportunities that are not officially posted on a job board yet. And the best way to learn about those opportunities is really from people who are working in the companies. So you may be talking with an alum and they may say something like, you know, we don't have a position posted right now that would be a fit for you, but I happen to know that my team is going to be hiring someone in six months. So that's an example of the hidden job market and something that you can use this network to learn more about. Um, before you start reaching out, I think there are some things that you'll want to consider. Um, first, we recommend that you spend some time on self-reflection so that you really um, have a good understanding of yourself. What are your passions? What are your values? What's important to you in your career development process? And then also think about, you know, maybe why did alumni volunteer to be in this program? Maybe there's something that you can learn from one another or that you have to offer up to them. It's also a good idea to establish some personal career or academic goals so that your conversations can be more focused. So maybe before you reach out, you can think about organizations that you might wanna work for. Um, you can think about whether there is a particular area of interest where you may wanna help uh, or start to build a network. Or maybe you're looking for really specific advice on a class project or a job application. And then lastly, we recommend that you practice your self-introduction. So um, this is similar to an elevator pitch, but you will have to introduce yourself first via a message that you're typing into the platform. And then when you do get those meetings set up, you'll wanna um, introduce yourself, your major, what your interests are, 
And then again, um, be able to, to help focus the conversation by talking about what specifically you'd like to learn. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Rachel so that you can take a tour of the platform and learn more about its functionality. All right, so here we are on the CM Universe homepage. If you haven't joined yet, you should go to cmuniverse.peoplegrow.com to join. And the first thing you'll want to do is go over here and set up your profile. So as you'll see, I already filled mine out. Um, you have a few options here. You can see a button here where you can import, if you have a LinkedIn profile, you can click on this button down here to import it. Um, and the great thing about that, it, it saves a lot of time. It will take a minute or two to load. But the great thing is that if you edit your LinkedIn profile at any time, you can come in here and scrolling down, you'll see this refresh data. Um, you can refresh it and it will update it automatically. Now, we recognize that uh, many of you, especially if you're earlier on here at CMU, you may not have a LinkedIn profile yet, um, and that's okay. You can just go in and manually click on these little um, edit icons and put all of your information in. As you can see here, there's also an optional uh, video introduction that you can do, and um, video resumes are becoming more popular, and so this could be good practice for you. However, we really do recommend that you start by building your profile. And if you want, you can add a video at a later date if you're comfortable creating one. I did wanna show you, um, I really like the help function on CM Universe. So if I go over here and click on the, um, uh, the help button, I can type in Um, intro video, excuse me. And there's a document here that will tell you how to go about that. So just wanted you to know that really anytime you have questions on the platform, you can um, use, obviously you can contact your career consultant, you know, reach out to, to one of us, but you can also look uh, through the help documents here. Uh, I did want to mention since you see pathway here, um, we did not purchase the whole Pathways modules, but we do have one called the Connection Success Pathway that we did get with our system. And if you are not yet comfortable with informational interviewing, uh, we do recommend that you complete that pathway because it'll tell you more about that. Um, also, just a reminder that on our career launch modules that you all have been invited into that are on Canvas, we also have a section on interviewing and informational interviewing. Some other things I want to show you here um, are preferences. So as you'll see the navigation over here, we're in notifications now. And here you can select if you want to be contacted, how you want to be contacted. You'll see that I did uh, put my cell phone number in here. And when I have reached out to uh, make a meeting with someone, I actually get that notification and a reminder on my text. And I really like that. If you don't, you don't have to um, do that. Um, so, uh, at first, when you communicate with an alum, you're going to be doing it on the platform, but once they respond to you, you can continue your conversation directly uh, through your email, if you would like. So, next, I want to show you uh, Manage Calendar, and this is where you can say that you're available. I did want to mention that on the alumni side, that... Um, they have an availability option where they can pick how often they want to meet with students. And so they have control over when they meet um, on their calendar and how often they meet. So you should never feel, um, just kind of like Kristen said, these are warm leads, that you don't have to worry that you're bothering them or they don't want to meet with you. They have um, set this to how many meetings they want. So if there is a meeting available, um, then you don't have to worry about that. Did want to mention the matching quiz here. This is where you can update your matching quiz with your interests. 
And this is a great segue over to the home page where you can see uh, the matching quiz. And what this does is when you complete the matching quiz, you're going to see alumni here who um, are a good match for you. So in the matching quiz, you could enter a city you're interested in. Um, you can select industries and you can select topics uh, where you want to receive help. And um, now I want to go over and show you on this mentor button. I am in here as a student now. So when you click on the mentor button, this is where you're going to see the alumni who are on the system. So um, first thing I'm going to show you is how to use uh, our filters uh, to help you identify alumni that meet the criteria you're interested in. So if you were looking for a particular um, location, you can come here and let's say you're interested in, you know, working in the Boston area, you can apply that and um, you get, there are 40 exact matches here right now of alumni um, in the Boston area. So I'm now going to clear that. I did want to mention before I show you by major that you'll probably, you'll see on some of the alumni, they have a um, chat now button, and that means that they're on the system. We do want to say that you can choose, you, you can try it, but there's no guarantee that the alumni will actually want to chat on the spot. If they can, that's great. Um, but otherwise, they would let you know that, you know, they want to like meet at another time. Um, you can also search up here by major. So let's say I was a decision science major and I wanted to find alumni who had studied decision science. Once again, look at that. And there are 15 exact matches right now. And then once again, you can search by industry. And those are our three main filters. And for industry, I am going to select biotech. And now you can see there are actually 53 matches for that. All right. I did want to mention that we do have other filters um, right now because we are have really been just getting uh, alumni on for a few months. You could it could be too limiting to use a lot of filters right now, so just wanted to caution you on that. Um, did want you to know though that for one thing, like for example, years of experience, depending on what your question is. Let's say for example, you wanted to figure out like. What classes or other activities did someone take to get into that, you know, software engineering role? You might want to um, talk to an alum who is a more recent alum. So you might click on zero to five years of experience to filter that way. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how you would reach out, uh, actually reach out to an alum. So I am going to type into the search. You could obviously pick one of these uh, alumni who came up in any search, but I uh, am going to pick my colleague who knows I will be messaging her. Um, so there's Allison. As you can see, um, I can connect with her. Now we have these um, templates that we have created to help you out here if, you, if you're not comfortable like really knowing what to say. You can either request some specific advice, for example, like reviewing my resume, talk to me about my job search or applying at your company. You could do a networking conversation request where you're actually requesting like an informational interview, or you could um, do a, a career exploration request here where you're just asking them um, some specific questions. So you'll see that you can actually request a meeting. So what I'm going to do is put in here, 
Um, I already wrote this year, Allison. I'm a sophomore English major and I'm considering a career in higher education. Since you have worked at the universities, I'm requesting a meeting to discuss your career path in the field in general to see if this role is a good fit for me. I appreciate that you are making yourself available to students like me. Thank you. And you'll see that right here, you can actually request a meeting. So let's say I want to do this. Well, you know, I'm available next week and I want to do this as a video call. And by the way, the video calls take place within the CM Universe system. So you're setting up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with this alum. And, you know, I don't, I think I need more than 15 minutes, but I don't want to take up too much of their time. So I'm going to um, request 30 minutes. And I'm going to do that. I know I am available at 3 o'clock p.m. And now I can request the meeting. So now I have my message written. I've requested the meeting. Um, now, you could just go right ahead and request a meeting without a note. But I know if somebody's requesting a meeting with me, it's really helpful to know why they want to meet. So we do recommend that you write this note as well. And now I'm sending this and it says I'll receive an email notification once she responds. All right. So I just wanted to show you some other tabs that we have here. So there is a projects tab. Um, this will be a place in the future where alumni um, faculty, alumni, employers can post short-term projects. Um, this one might not be ready till the next academic year. And I did want to show you groups as well. We're really excited about this one. Uh, this is where we expect much of the discussion to take place on the platform because this is groups of people around specific areas of interest. So you can see um, the groups that we have launched. We've launched a first generation group and a graduate student group and an international student group, uh, as well as women in tech. Uh, the INI is a private one. And we are going to be adding uh, pretty soon a fine and performing arts group. But um, we're also going to continue to add different um, industry and identity groups and are definitely open to um, you know, students proposing groups as well. Did want to show you briefly discussion. You can post to the entire network here. And when you do that, these posts are searchable. So you could come over to the search function and look up any topic you might be interested in to see if people have posted in the past. And finally, resources. Um, we have added a bunch of CPDC resources here, and we will continue to do so over time. And that is, oh, okay. So I have received, I wanna show you in the upper right hand corner here, I have just received a message from Allison, and it says that she'd be happy to chat with me and she's available at my proposed time. So now you can see how this works. All right, I'm gonna stop my share, and now Kristen, you can continue. Okay, so now that you know how the platform works, let's talk about a few other things that can help to lead to further success with it. Um, First, it's a really good idea to set expectations for your interactions and response times. Um, if you plan to have an ongoing relationship with someone that you're connecting with, it's a good idea to discuss your future availability and then maybe even make a plan for when you might talk next. And then also, if an alumni reaches out to you in a text or an email or a phone call, please respond to that person within 24 hours. So even if your response is that you're busy and you will follow up later, um, it's important to at least let them know that you saw the message because they are, after all, here to help you. Um, so being open and respectful in your communication um, is really one of the most important parts of a successful mentorship relationship. 
Um, also, the more regularly that you interact, the stronger that relationship will be. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and then don't forget to thank the person that you've been um, interacting with. So, you know, you can do that verbally after you have a conversation over the phone or through the video chat. But it's also a good idea to follow up with a brief message of thanks um, that's actually, you know, handwritten, which you can type through the system or you can send via email. Um, some final thoughts, you know, as we've um, emphasized throughout this presentation, the alumni who are in the CM Universe platform are here to help. Um, they are also gaining leadership skills, they're giving back to the community, and they're, they're forming connections. So this is something that they want to do. You shouldn't feel like you're imposing on them. Um, keep in mind, again, these relationships are professional in nature. <clears throat> so not only should you not discuss, um, you know, social things, um, but remember that you want to use proper grammar and spelling in your communications. Um, you want to show professionalism um, as a form of respect and also as good practice for your future workplace relationships. Um, and then as Rachel said, don't forget to consider joining some of those groups. Um, the graduate student group has launched, the international student and alumni group has launched, um, the fine and performing arts student group will be launching soon, and we do plan to follow up by adding more industry and affinity groups in the coming weeks and months. Um, you know, another question that we get often is from first year students, um, you know, if I'm a first year student, what on earth could I possibly have to say to anybody? Um, and, you know, just remember that you are still exploring. And so this could be a great way for you to do that. Um, you can ask alumni what courses to take. Um, maybe you could ask about majors or what student organizations you might join. Um, you could even ask what someone did their first summer after their, um, their fres freshman year at Carnegie Mellon. Um, but keep in mind too, that you don't have to use this platform if you're a first year student. So it's perfectly fine to, to just um, you know, browse through it, get familiar with the way it works, but not start messaging anyone until you do have a little more clarity around your career goals. Okay, so we'll just leave you um, with the um, thought that thousands of students and alumni have already joined the CM universe. So we'll, we're hoping that you will be another one and that you'll take the time to register for an account at cmuniverse.peoplegrove.com. If you have any other questions about how to use the platform or how to continue to network and build these relationships, don't forget that you can make an appointment with your career consultant through Handshake. So thanks so much for listening and we hope to see you in the CM universe.